the British military adopted the new ideas and in 1936 asked Morris to build them a very fast tank to carry them out. And this is it, the Cruiser 3, 15 tons, two pound a gun, crew of four, and good for 30 miles an hour off-road, making it one of the fastest tanks of its day. But what made this great machine so fast? The answer lay in one man, American J. Walter Christie and his genius for high-speed tank design. Morris bought one of Christie's tanks and harnessed the revolutionary ideas they found in it. Firstly, huge wheels, much bigger than on other tanks. Coupled with massive horizontal suspension hidden behind the armor plating. With these two things, you could go flat out on rough ground at 30 miles an hour, much faster than most other tanks of the day. Christie's other big speed idea was simple too. Don't just put a giant engine in your tank, put in an engine with the best power to weight ratio you can get your hands on. What machines use light engines with lots of power? Aircraft. So for maximum speed, use an aircraft engine in your tank. And listening to Christie, that's exactly what Morris did. Building this beautiful V12 340 horsepower Nuffield Liberty aircraft engine for their Cruiser 3 tanks. Wouldn't it be amazing to hear this motor running? Well, believe it or not, we can in the next fast tank that Morris built. The Crusader. It was on the drawing board in 1939. And like the Cruiser 3, it's got Christie's huge wheels and that enormous, all-powerful Liberty aircraft engine. One of just a handful of Liberty engines left in the world that still run. This tank and its engine are literally priceless. Turn it over, Colin. So, to help me start it and make sure I don't do any damage, I've got two experts on the engine to help me. Again? John Turn. Pearson and his son, Colin. Health and safety wasn't exactly central to 1930s designs. Those valve rockers will have your fingers off. Oh, look at that! Yes! 27 litres of V12 Liberty, one of a handful left in the world. Absolutely brilliant! is so loud, more like a dragster than a tank. And it made the Crusader at over 30 miles an hour off-road, one of the fastest tanks on the battlefield. You had that 30 mile an hour speed to sort of get out of trouble. Yes, it, it was a very difficult target to hit when it, was, uh, when it was running. And in fact, that was intended to be its defense, was really to keep out of the way. So, the Crusader was one of the fastest tanks around. But did that make it the greatest? Unfortunately not, as it was dangerously unreliable. <laughs> 